Oh boy. I don't know if you guys know this game or not. Um, I know, I'll let the intro play out before I say a word. Um, this game is kind of, it's, it's, it's got a cult following. It's, it's very good for people who remember it, who've played it. A lot of people don't even know this game exists. This game was a combination between um, Nintendo and Squaresoft at the time. Uh, Square Enix nowadays, as you know them. But this was the first kind of game that they collaborated with, and um, this is the end result. You have a crazy, crazy RPG based in the Mario world, and um, basically they call it Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. Um, as you can see from the, the preview here, um, it's turn-based combat, which I think is great. I mean, I you guys will find out here, I'm not a, the hugest fan of Mario on this channel, but... Um, Super Mario RPG has a very special place in my heart. Um, I, I we, got, we had a cartridge as a kid. Um, currently in possession of my little brother. He has this game now. Um, so I'm borrowing it from him today, but no big deal. But either way, Super Mario RPG, fantastic game. I think it's enough of a little uh, preview there, and I think uh, we'll jump right into it. So, yeah, let's let's, let's play some uh, Super Mario RPG, guys. How's that sound? Sounds sounds uh sounds good to me. I'm very excited to play this again. 96, ooh, Nintendo and Square. Fantastic. Now, um, it's been a long time since I played this game, but I'm very excited to play it again, especially with you guys. So, we'll just jump right in. We'll, uh, oh, come on now. Let me, let me just, uh, yeah, stereo, please. Oh, really? I gotta pick the new game option? All right, whatever. Um, my name, my name, hmm. Um. We'll just, we'll, uh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh, that is, oh, wait, no, 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 uh, yeah, here we go, we'll just, we'll just, uh, we'll keep it simple, that way I know, oh, my goodness, oh, my god, you know, you never get used to Super Nintendo controls, you know, especially after you play more modern consoles, you know, th th these kind of controls just really throw you for a loop, because, you know, most of the time, you're used to hitting, the far right button on on the um, X oh excuse me <laughs> um, on the Xbox controller the B button is usually the back button okay um, no big deal but in this the B button is the OK button and that was the same way for like PlayStation One and stuff like that so when you play these older games more often than not you're gonna end up hitting the wrong button and back you know backing out of screens a lot more than you think you would it's um it's a real shame but you know it's just it's that's the thing. You, we, we have now adapted to playing um, more modern-esque games that follow that kind of control scheme. And back in the day, it was almost the exact opposite kind of control scheme. But, you know, either way, we're here. Mario's knocking on Bowser's castle door. And we'll see how this... If you guys haven't played this, I'm, I'm really excited for you to watch this. This is just a fantastic... A fantastic combination of Final Fantasy and Mario. Um, like, I, like I said earlier, I'm not a big fan of Mario. And we're we're uh, we're playing. We're uh, we're playing in Bowser's Castle. Super Mario RPG. We're playing. Um, the first little bit is very very a classic Mario esque. You know, oh, there it goes. And we jump into a turn based battle, as you can see. So mm, you got your special here. You got your items, which I don't have any items. We just start the game. And you have your basic attack and defense, and you know you could run if you had the option to at the time. So very very interesting concept. Like I said, for an RPG with Mario in it. But um, boom! Oh, I missed the I missed the time. You'll see it next time. I'll get it right next time. I promise. Um, and one, two. There it goes. Yeah. All right. So perfect. So that's Mario RPG in a nutshell. We're doing a lot of that. We get a lot of cool different characters. A lot of um, I'm going to skip over most of these guys. Uh, well, here's the force fight. No big deal. But uh, a lot of unique characters were introduced in Mario RPG. A lot of characters that um, Square well Square Enix now still holds the rights to. So this, that's, that kind of stinks because you won't see some ever, these characters ever again. You'll see, of course, the classic Mario lineup. Um, I don't want to spoil too much of the game for you, but there are some Square Enix exclusive characters that they made specifically for Super Mario RPG. Um, so it's, it's a shame that they, they have never given the rights, or at least shared the rights back to Nintendo. I'm sure Nintendo wanted to at the time, but they just, Square Enix just hold on that trump card. I mean, it's not really much of a trump card, to be honest with you, but... They're holding on to it. There goes the bridge! <laughs> so they're holding on to those rights. It's a real shame because I would love to see some of those characters back in more Mario games. I'd also love to see another 
Mario RPG come out, which I'm, you know, I'm, I'm swinging for the fences here on hope. But, you know, it would be amazing to see another Super Mario RPG actually happen. Because you don't... You, you won't ever get this. You know, I mean, a turn-based combat with Mario? Come on, that's just outrageous. You know what I mean? So, you know, I mean, it, it's it's great concept. I just wish they um, really tried. No, yeah, all right, yeah. See, I'll, I'm not an idiot. I've played this game before. Mm, I have two things to hit. I can either hit Bowser or I can hit the, the thing holding the lamp up. Now we're going to take a second here, and we're going to think about our options. Should I fight Bowser or should I hit the thing holding the lamp up? Well, if the game gives me an option to hit it, I think I should hit it. So I'm going to hit it. Boom, bam. 15 whole entire damages, and oh, I missed. I didn't get the block on that one. Like it matters. One damage is one damage. But um, so actually, when you think about, it, if you guys ever played, um, there it goes. There's a block. Uh, South Park Stick of Truth. Uh, it's a very, it's actually a very very similar uh, combat combat wise. Anyway, um, related to that, considering I can you know hit him again, and I'll, if I press the um, A button at the right time, then I will you know do a double attack, which is fantastic. It's not really double attack, it does a little bit more damage, um, but that's still a great option. And one, two punch of the elbow. Bam! See, oh no, see, I'm, not, I'm, I'm so surprised. But Bowser is, I'll tell you that. Oh yeah. A chain reaction! Oh man, see, as a kid, you, you don't get these really punny jokes. You know, like, like, come on, like, it's a chain reaction. Yeah, the chain is in fact reacting, Bowser. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> you coming, Mario? Bam! Oh, man. Oh, come on, Bowser. And Peach is going to hang about 12 stories up in the air. Why not? So, uh, and terminal velocity allowed Mario to land very close to Bowser. Oh, man. Good stuff. And uh, Bowser actually comes a big part of this later on, and I'm I'm so excited to get that part. It's quite a ways into the game though, but he, he comes back in full force. Ooh, yeah, take that, Bowser. You're foiled again. And then Mario somehow has enough power to literally go 25 stories up in the air off of jumping off of Bowser. So, and now he's gonna somehow get Princess Peach, or not? Yeah, we'll. we'll <laughs> this part's kind of interesting how this happens. Like I said, this is just... I, I'm pretty sure uh, Nintendo just gave um, Square Enix... I've, I've not done much back research on this game, but um, I'm pretty sure Nintendo just gave Squaresoft at the time... Squaresoft title at the time um, just the rights to use their characters, and they kind of just did what they wanted with it. Because the world isn't necessarily very Mario-esque. It's kind of just like a linear, one big linear path, which is still cool. You know, you can go back and forth where you want to do. Super Mario RPG, everybody. That's it right there. Yep, good stuff. And now the seven stars get scattered throughout the land. And uh, can you guess what I'll be doing? Yeah, you got it, guys. Good job. I will sure be going to get those stars. 100%, you got it. So now we see Mario flying over here. Got thrown out of the castle. And there's Toad. Well, one of the Toads. Whatever Toad that Toad might be, Toad. Because, I mean, we I think we've seen there's a... Not, toad is not just a singular person. There is a, several Toads running around these days. So, I mean, at, at this time, it might have just been Toad, because this is 96, you know, so. But, oh, he's looking at this, he's hanging up there, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, Toad, I know, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I tried to save her, you know. I'm sorry I wasn't here on time, but, yep, there we Get stuck in the friggin' clothes rack, and I'm gonna turn the light off and go to bed. So, good night, y'all. I got something to do, but I'm not, I'm not up to it today, so I'll do it tomorrow. And I'll sleep there. There we go. So if you guys ever uh, find this game, I mean, you can easily get it on any, um, ooh. You know, um, you can easily get it, you know, full retail price, air quotes, nothing incriminating, etc. You can get that game, there's a little save box. So you can get the, um, and now, oh, wait, no, I just, oh, gosh, darn it. That's the old Super Nintendo controls, Dune, Dune Yin right there. And there it goes, Beastie Mario's Pad. Not in Mario's house, Mario's Pad. Heck yeah. And you guys can see it's, um, you know, not necessarily like 
Mario-esque. You jump, you know, you do your Mario thing. You do the Mario, you know, do, do the Mario. But, um, you know, you, I'm gonna talk to Toadsy, what he has to say about this. Oh, ri really? Um, she's around here somewhere. <laughs> silent. Mario silent. Mario's silent. Mario's always silent. Come on now. No, no, it's not Bowser. Toad, you have no idea how long I'm gonna be gone. Are you really gonna stay the whole time and wait for her? Because I'm gonna be gone, like, like a long time, dude. Like, like really long. So, yeah. We'll go uh, into the transition screen here. And, uh, I, yeah, I, I guess I go back to Bowser's Keep. Was, I, see, it's been very long since I played this. I think I go back to Bowser's Keep and I just can't do anything there. So, or, or do I try again? I don't remember. Any, no, 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 I think, yeah, I remember, yeah. Yeah, there he goes. There's the big sword hanging out Bowser's Keep for some reason. Ooh, he talks too. A trespasser. The Smithy Gang. Ooh, talk about gangs, Mario. Jeesh. Uh huh. Over this world, nosy characters like you see, like nosy characters like you pretty much referred to him like he broke the fourth wall in a sense, like you know, because you know obviously Mario is a character and he tends to be kind of nosy, and now he's having um you know a bad case of jaundice, so Mario's gonna run the hell right out of there. Yep, and you look at the castle and you're like, you know what, Smitty, I'm gonna be back, bro. I'm coming back. Just got you know bridge doesn't mean I ain't gonna find you, son. So now, as you can see, I can't, I can't go to the castle, so I'm going to go back to Mario's pad. And I'm going to go right back to Mario's pad. And I don't, I, it's, well, Toad is gone. So I guess Toad got very impatient in the last, oh, there he is. I need to go back so soon, forget something, no. What happened? Oh, and then yeah, Mario proceeds to give the rendition. <laughs> which is great, because in this game, he does not say a word, but he's, he's very uh, animated. Which, again, is just freaking hilarious. Yeah, mm hmm mm hmm Chancellor. So there's a Chancellor. That's the whole crazy thing. Like I said, I'm pretty sure Square Enix, uh, Nintendo's gave the rights to Square Enix at the time. They're like, here you go, buddy. It's just make it, make an RPG. Come on, let me leave. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Hey, a mushroom. Hmm. I'm gonna be a smartass. Yeah, I am. Thank you very much. Yeah, okay. What is it? Get that. <laughs> it's a little little reminder. Hey, just just pops up. How's it going? <laughs> now, do you think I, do you guys think I know about what time hits are? Cause I think I do. I mean, I may have showed you earlier, but you know, yes, I know what time hits are. Yeah, you. <laughs> Look at these old time hits, man, to punch you out. <laughs> he just somberly walks off. <laughs> Oh, this game gives me just so much, so good, so much good stuff, man. All right, yeah, okay, yeah, okay. You said these things about three times now. More mushrooms, okay, cool. And Toad just magically walks off through all these monsters that you're going to see soon. By the way, he just walks right through them, no big deal. But me, on the other hand, I don't get to walk through them. I'm going to fight every single one of them because why not? Because that's uh, that's that's what Mario's like. And bing bong, thirty-four damage and block. Yeah, I got it. Still did two damage. I probably did. I probably did a whole three damage if I didn't block it. Keep that in mind. So blocking, blocking is very important in this game. Um, get some experience points there. No coins. Um, we'll get the level up process soon enough. Oh, there's Toad. See, he, he did get a little swarm there. See, he's been so long since I played this. I don't remember the little details, but I mean, it's still just such a great game. HP max up, which I mean, uh, oh no, HP max. That that happens um in combat when um <clears throat> excuse me when um you beat an enemy, you have a chance to get like a Random kind of like buff or something, oh, ouch. buff in the middle of the fight, and uh, like that one, since I had I didn't lose any HP in the beginning, but that would have gave me my HP all the way back to full, which would have been really nice. But you know, it is what it is. So we're gonna keep on trucking here, and we're gonna fight this Gomba, another Gomba, three Gombas. Can you see that gun is special yet? Like, can you do my special? Ah, oh, jump. Oh, that's gonna be lame. Let's do it anyway. Plunk. You know, the one up there, not really, but I mean, the one up sound. <laughs> and clunk. Alright, you guys haven't got nothing. Smack Boodle. You're down. And block. Oh, ooh, see, I didn't have block that time, but I would have blocked. Just so you guys know, I was in the process of making a successful block, so don't get it twisted. It was gonna happen. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. Ooh, yeah, oh, yeah. See, that's a nice throwback. Oh, boy, I think I just got hit by both of them. No, no, only, only Goomba. Well, I'm gonna get hit by the Cooper Ride for Goombas anyway. It's not really gonna matter much, man. Chomp! Block! Ooh, zero! Big O! 
I'm not talking about the anime either, which also, Big O, um, Toonami uh, recently received the rights back for it, for Big O Season 1, so expect it to come back soon. Which I'm not really sure to point too much, considering I mean, that was overplayed as, you know, overplayed as all heck back in the day on Toonami, the Toonami block. But, I, mean, I guess it's kind of cool. There you go, Lucky. See, I don't know what the Lucky does. I think it might increase, like, critical chance or something. I'm not 100% sure. I don't even know if you're going to critical in this game. I really don't, do not remember, and I might die soon. Four health. Uh, let's just knock him out, knock him out the box, Mario. Alright, got him. Word. Alright, we're good. Oh. Ooh, double your coins. Challenge the system. Win big or lose. I only have two coins. I don't think I have any coins in my inventory at all, so. Let's do it. Let's go for four coins all day. Oh, uh, no, oh, uh, no. See, I, I, see, that is, um, yep, that's, uh, Super Nintendo controls for you. I actually hit the B button, pretty much. Yep, go figure. Here, let me actually use a mushroom so I don't die. There we go. How much did I restore? 50? 30. Okay, that's a... And you see, you got a very, um, which is also the same button to open up in every Final Fantasy game. You have the, uh, you know, all the good stuff, Mario stats and stuff. Very basic now. Um, they didn't add a lot of, like, a lot of stuff. You I, think, I think it was aiming towards a younger crowd of people, so they kind of went for a simplified menu stat screen kind of thing. Special here, using flowers, which flowers, you know, um, I came back in um, Super Mario, Paper, oh, not Super Paper Mario, Paper Mario anyway, I came back in and used flower power for your abilities, so that's a throwback to this game right here. So, in case you guys wonder what the flower power I gave him, welcome to Super Mario RPG. And I think we'll, come on, let's just get this over with, I want to get to the Mushroom Kingdom and get the, there to HP Max. See, I didn't even, man, if I had went into this battle without the Mushroom, I would have just healed for free. But, you know, that's the way the game likes to work. Very, uh, square Enixy. <laughs> you know, you do something, then, uh, hey, oh, yeah, yeah, Toad, yeah. Give me another mushroom. Huh? Oh, a honey syrup. Ooh, baby. What are you trying to tell me, Toad? <clears throat> I forgot how long this process was of getting the mushroom king in here. Oh, boy. Well, um, I think this will do for our first installment of Super Mario RPG, everybody. Um, this is this will be Beastie here, and I'm giving the peace sign just like Mario is right now. And we'll see you back here for part two, coming up very soon. Hope you guys liked it. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let us know how you feel about it. Tell us how you feel about this game, your story about this game, down below in the comments. And uh, we'll see you for part two of Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. See you then.